I moved to China 14 years ago, so obviously I must like it, at least somewhat. Have you ever thought of moving to China? And have you ever wondered if you might like or dislike it? Well, today's video is about some reasons you might like living in China. The list is by no means exhaustive, and in fact I might make another video like this someday to give more reasons. But for now, let's start with these. First reason, you like having good public transportation. For me, coming from a car-dependent society like the United States, this has been a significant benefit. There are those, of course, who are totally fine with relying on cars for everything, but if you find it a bit constricting to be completely dependent on a car, as I do, you'll find China offers lots more choices. Buses are reliable and frequent enough you won't wait long for one, and over 40 Chinese cities have a metro or subway system. If you're looking for long distance travel, China has the world's largest high speed rail network, and long distance buses are usually comfortable if you're going somewhere where the train isn't convenient. China's transportation, frankly, leaves countries like the United States and Canada in the dust. Now maybe you're from Europe and you're thinking, oh, we already have great public transportation where I am. Hmm? That's what I've heard. But I would add this point. China has very good public transportation that is also amazingly inexpensive. A city bus ride will cost you a fraction of one US dollar. And most metro trips are also less than a dollar, unless you're going really far. As for long distance, a high-speed rail ticket from here in Ningbo to Shanghai, a distance of about 300 kilometers, costs only about 20 US dollars. I don't think there's a country in the world where you can go so far for so little. Second reason, related to what I was just talking about, China's cost of living is cheaper than in Western countries. Now I should say it's not as cheap as it used to be. The cost of essentials like food has definitely increased recently. And furthermore, if you want to have a lot of import food so that you can live like at home, that'll boost your costs even more. Housing can also be a bit expensive per square meter, especially in big cities like Guangzhou, Shenzhen, Beijing, and especially Shanghai. Having said that, many foreigners in China do get housing or housing allowances, so you'll want to take that into account. Also, there are still many categories where China remains pretty inexpensive. As I already mentioned, transportation is pretty cheap, and not just mass transit. Even taxis and cars hailed through ride-hailing apps like DD, similar to Uber or Lyft, are far less expensive than in the West. This is related to lower labor costs in general, which means things like repairs are also easier to afford here. Also fairly easy to afford is domestic help. And even people who would never hire domestic help for their homes in their home countries may well employ an ai, which literally means an auntie, though it actually refers to a domestic helper for their residences in China. Of course, you need to pay your help fairly, but you will find that going rates are easier to afford here than in most Western countries. All told, many Westerners living and working in China find that they can save a lot more money than they could in their home country, so this can be a significant benefit. Third reason. All right, you know how I mentioned earlier that if you insist on buying a lot of import food, you're gonna bump your costs up. But what if you stick mainly to Chinese food? Well, then not only are you gonna save money, but hey, maybe you'll really like it. That's something a lot of people here really like is access to tons of authentic Chinese food, absolutely everywhere. Worth noting that in many ways, referring to Chinese food is about as precise as referring to European food, in that regional cuisines in China can vary about as much as Italian food does from Swedish. If you're used to westernized Chinese food, Cantonese will probably be most familiar to you. But you might find heavy, savory food in China's northeast, along with some pickled vegetables to help get through the long winters there. If you like spicy food, you might like Sichuan or Hunan cuisine. If you don't care for a little fire in your mouth, you may need to use the phrase bu yao la, which means I don't want spicy when traveling through these regions. But you almost always find something you like, 
because you can basically always find foods from other regions, no matter where you are in China. For example, I recently went to a restaurant serving hot pot from Chaoshan, the eastern part of Guangdong. This was at the shopping center near my home in Zhejiang, which doesn't even border Guangdong. Variety is never lacking in Chinese cuisine, and you'll be able to find that variety no matter where you are in this country. Like I said, there's lots of reasons you might like living in China. I've just chosen three today. I hope to make more videos in the future about reasons you might like or dislike living here. And if you don't want to miss those, this would be a great time to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching. See you all next time. Bye!